that each hoax bomb threat cost the airline around 3 crore. This includes fuel, wastage cost, landing and parking charges at the airport and the cost of putting up customers in hotels and providing them other facilities. However, other than the financial cost, there is also a negative impact on India's aviation industry. These bomb threats are not only a security issue, but they also create a negative picture as to why Indian airlines are being targeted. On this issue, I am joined by Ashwardhan Azad, uh, former information commissioner, but someone who has served and had a long stint as an IPS officer and an intelligence bureau. Sanjay Lazar, aviation expert, CEO of and Major General V.K. Datta, uh, someone who now deals with counter terrorist operation. I will straight away go to Mr. Azad. Uh, my first question is, wh why this spike? What is your assessment? Well, I think it's a targeted, uh, it's no longer a hoax here. We know all the reasons, you know, has been spelled out by you. It can be a prankster, it can be an, uh, uh, you know, a passenger uh, who's arriving late. Uh, so all this we've heard. But it's a little uh, disappointing that uh, till now the minister spoke well, he spoke about his problems, but legislation is not going to, you know, get us anywhere. The reason, you know, this is a targeted attack coming from a VPN network, coming from all the cybersecurity experts, whether it is coming through, you know, the mail or, or the VPN networks and, and other places, it could be the use of bots, it could be the use of, of one of these, you know, uh, places in Europe from where this is being directed. And uh, there are many, many links to it, of course, and I'm sure that the intelligence agencies will be pouring over it. Even in, in terms of reaction, you know, I understand all the aircraft drills could be done, but it's it's quite clear that it's a hoax, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, call because uh, our checks are pretty strong, at least at Delhi airports and other metros. So we should amend and restrict our uh, uh, kind of, you know, the reaction which we are doing so that we save some time and man hours because this has actually caused havoc. But we should not go the legislative way. It doesn't make any difference because of all these hoax calls, we have not been able to catch even one. And even if you give a stricter punishment, I mean, no-fly list should be absolutely on. I mean, everyone agrees with it. Anybody found, they should be put on the no-fly list. But on the other hand, it requires a much more deeper study and, and, and research and putting the minds together of all our, uh, you know, anti-terrorist agencies, uh, the intelligence agencies, to get behind it because it's critical now. It's it's almost paralyzing our aviation industry. It's paralyzing our aviation industry. Uh, let me go across to uh, General Datta. Do you think that uh, it's directly linked with the sort of uh, developments that have taken place in Canada, sir? Uh, yes. See, we have to analyze who could be trying to target the aviation industry and the economic power of India by the virtue of uh, giving such threats and trying to derail the aviation industry in India and trying to uh, showcase to the world that flying by the Indian carrier is not safe. Uh, so if we look at uh, the international scenario, who are the people? Guru, Pant, Guru Parvant Singh Pannu, you know, the, uh, the care, uh, in the care of the CIA and the Americans. In Canada, now what happened to the Kanishka aircraft in 1985 was a bombing by a Canadian uh, Sikh who planted a bomb and the Air India uh, flight was lost, killing 329 passengers. And the Canadian government had got an early warning and they did nothing about it. So when we talk about international terrorism, such countries which are involved in harboring terrorists on their soil and making them uh, their baby, and they are now giving threats to the Indian aviation and the Indian government that from 1st to 19th of the next month, uh, people should avoid flying by the Indian airlines or the Indian carriers. So who else? So it is not only an individual. There are people and the agencies involved behind this, and we have to take that into account. But at the same time, while we know that these are hoax calls, as per the international aviation rules, you cannot take a call lightly. You have to ensure the safety of the passengers who are traveling in an aircraft. 